Top stories on this Thursday, December 12th. A potential crisis is unfolding high above the Earth on the International Space Station. NASA is considering an emergency spacewalk to repair a critical cooling system that has failed. If it can't be fixed, the entire crew may be forced to evacuate. Her are- from Montreal asked, Hi, Chris. Hello. How do you clean up a mess in space? Good question, because it's not going to fall on the floor. It's not going to fly up into the air. It's just going to float around until it runs into something. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs handed us this one, and we got to come through. We got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that. For you and your team trying to figure out how to come up with those workarounds and those solutions. Right, so the, so the snorkel, as I mentioned, this is actually a, a, a part that we can change out on the spacesuit. It's part of a waterline vent tube assembly, which is actually what runs from the, the backpack of the suit, and it's what hooks up to the liquid cooling and ventilation garment that the crew members wear. So normally these tubes will be passing water uh, that's providing cooling around the crew member's body. So some smart engineers on the ground were able to uh, figure out, hey, this looks its a similar diameter to a snorkel that you have for scuba diving. So what if we're able to, each waterline vent tube assembly has two of these tubes. So by just sacrificing one of our, our spares on board, they were able to come up with a way to to just snip off the ends and then file it so that it's not rough in the crew member's mouth and then apply Velcro. We already have Velcro inside the suit, which is what holds the drink bag up to the front part of the suit. So they were able to come up with this ingenious idea to, to hold it in. Uh, three spacewalkers uh, involved uh, in activities uh, outside uh, the International Space Station during place. As far as the helmet absorption pad goes, we looked at ways of modifying, of potentially on board, modifying the maximum absorbency garment that the crew members wear, but that created quite a bit of FOD. It was kind of a mess to, to cut this apart. Um, so we were fortunate enough to be able to, to quickly turn these around and, and fabricate units that we were able to launch, as I mentioned, on, on the orbital demo mission as well as on the Soyuz mission. So thankfully, we already had these on board. But, but both of these, you know, the invention of these came out of the issues that we had on EVA-23. Deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. And spokespeople will not comment. Go, 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 go. Heads up, people, look out now. What's this? That's what they gotta make. So I put on my silver shield glove. And now I am ready with various types of absorbing things and in fact we have some great big ones special soak up mitts that we could put on top of a nasty spill and then at the end of it on the ground to overcome that in Houston we train in the so-called NBL or neutral buoyancy facility what it is it's actually an incredibly large swimming pool one of the biggest in the world and underwater we have a mock-up of the space station on a one-to-one -one scale and some of the mock-ups are extremely realistic. Now it's only the outside because the extra vehicle activity is done on the outside of the station. So what we, they do, they put us underwater and they set a neutral, uh, a neutral buoyancy, which means that uh, the suit stays uh, at whatever level in the water we are at, simulating the lack of gravity. It's, uh, it's incredibly uh, tiring, but at the same time, uh, very, very fulfilling because when we work, work uh, with the suit outside the station and underwater in the MBL, it feels like the real thing. So we, are, we can uh, practice our skills, we can uh, utilize the real tools that we would use on, a, on an actual EVA on orbit. And we can uh, exchange uh, instruments, we can fix things, uh, we can move or translate, that's a technical 